All right, hey guys, Aquatic Bob's here. Stick around today, cause we got some cool footage for you. I'm gonna be doing some coral close-ups and also some underwater footage. All right, yeah, hey guys, so like I said, we got some cool cool video for you guys today. Uh, stick around for these first couple minutes. It's just going to be some underwater footage and a little bit of background music. But it's my first time doing underwater footage, so bear with me a little bit. It is on my camera. I just bought an underwater case. But it's going to be pretty cool, and it'll be a good lesson to learn from. And maybe you guys can help critique me, and uh, we can improve it for the next video. So... Let's get under the water.
So I know I told some of you guys that I was getting a GoPro and I did and I took some footage but it just wasn't it wasn't really worth it so I'm returning the GoPro I'm not even gonna show the footage I'm serious you guys it's just it's not worth it I tried so many different settings and uh, you know the GoPro it's it really is just for action shots <laughs> and I mean it was nice a little bit going through the tank with it and uh, just you know doing some slow-mo through the tank but everything was blurry uh, you know the closer you get to it like this this is what it would look like let me see if I can even my phone doesn't even get blurry let me see so this guy down here Watch what happens. It was still blurrier than this. That was like, that's trying to zoom way up on it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually taking a magnifying glass and using that. And it's helping a little bit. So, ha, huh, it's a really nice symphilia. So yeah, I just wanted to do some close-ups of my corals and talk about my corals for a little bit. If you can see, I'm still battling the cyanoalgae on the bottom. And it's been an ongoing issue for over a month now, two months. And, you know, I've raised my nutrients. So before it was so bad that my whole tank was covered in it. And very slowly, it's been getting better better and better and I mean it's gotten to this point now you can see some on the rock there and it's almost like it's just taken a little break at this point and my nutrients have steadily been elevated my nitrates have been between four and eight parts per million and phosphates have been from 0 0.03 to about 0 0.05 Oh, it's just frustrating sometimes. This is part of reefing. And, I mean, it, it's not like it's hurting my tank at all. It's just like, you know, that one thing, all it takes is that one thing to get in the back of your mind. And it tries to intimidate you like you're doing something wrong. Like, like you're just not getting it. And then it makes you, it tempts you, that's what it does, is it actually tempts you to make changes. More changes, more quickly, fix this, fix that, try this, try that, and, but I'm not. I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. Come on, focus there, buddy. Look at that, that's beautiful. There's some kind of little thing growing off the side of this coral oh my gosh you guys look at these shots 
I know it's super shaky. That was one thing about the GoPro is it had hyper smooth. So even if you shook a lot, it would still just like hold it perfectly still. But uh, yeah, so I, I'm just gonna stay steady. Just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. Keep feeding heavy. Keep my filtration up. I'm not going to make any changes for probably at least at least another month. Then I might make some minor tweaks, but maybe even two months. I just I really want to stick by my own advice and not make any sudden changes. Oh, well, this is not focusing on this side at all. There we go, a little bit. So you can see, we've got really nice color in here. Really nice color. And everything is looking pretty healthy. So there's not really a reason to think logically about it. There's not really a reason to try to switch stuff up. There's some leftover hair algae. You can see it's kind of dying off. It's funny how I elevated nutrients. My hair algae issue um, started getting better. <laughs> it's so contrary to what we thought we knew. Look at all those different colors. The darker ones in the middle are just browned out from low nutrients. They're starting to come back. They were so brown though, they were like a solid brown color. Usually brown means excess nutrients, but in this case somehow they uh, browned out from low nutrients. It's my mushroom coral. Very very unique. It's a Recordia Ultra Orange Rainbow Recordia that I got from Worldwide Corals. It's actually one of the older corals in my tank. Probably a couple years old. I know I get a lot of comments on my torches. My cotton candy torch. Dragon Soul. New York Knicks. When I bought this thing, it had some green streaks like around the mouth. Uh, those went away a couple weeks after I bought it. Actually, I barely even saw it when I bought it, and I have yet to see it again. It's the Aquaman Monty. There's a little rock flower coming out of that rock. Here's my, uh, Zoa Garden. What once was a little bit more. Pink boobies. Pink boobies chalice. Wonder what uh, the person who named that had in their mind. Yeah, so one thing I've been hearing from you guys quite a bit is slow down. Let us see the coral. Now I got so many coral in here, like, it's hard finding the right spot. And we're working on setting up the new tanks. We're getting there. It's taken a while. We finally got the glass ordered. Once, once we get the glass installed, We'll do a water test to see if the tanks hold water because we use the pond armor to paint the inside of the plywood. And, uh, and we put about four coats in that. Then we've just finished building the sump. Got one more coat of pond armor left for the sump. And then we're going to fill them up with just regular water, make sure they don't leak. And then if they don't leak, which I really don't think they're going to, we put so much of that pond armor in there, then we're going to um, hook up the plumbing and start start uh, 
plumbing them, which will be pretty cool. This rack over here, it's kind of hard. Hard to see it's shaded a little bit. These A-cans, they do like a little bit lower par. Wish that one would focus a little better. But, uh, even when I try to shine a flashlight on it, it doesn't really help. You can see all the scratches in my glass. Man, you ever got to be careful when you buy or put Fragrex on your glass, especially acrylic. Now this is an acrylic, this is a SCA Aquariums tank. And they're super cool over there actually. I, I don't think you can find many tanks for as good of a deal as you can get from SCA. But uh, I put these frag racks on, I only moved them a couple times and I learned my lesson big time. That was a couple years ago. I've been living with these scratches ever since. Now when I clean the glass, I actually have to go in and I separate the frag rack. I wipe it down quick and then I slide it up and down. But even just with the tank going right now, debris, like I just cleaned the glass 20 minutes ago. That's why the water's a little bit cloudy. Normally it doesn't look like there's water even in the tank. And I don't have a UV sterilizer either, so boo-hoo to you guys who say you have to have a UV sterilizer. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I actually do want to put a UV sterilizer on this tank. I just don't have the space under there. You know, again, I just want to say, you guys, those of you who are still watching and have been watching, maybe you're a first-time watcher, I just want to say I really appreciate all the support and encouragement, you know, with my dad um, getting diagnosed with cancer and not knowing the severity of it, and my wife and I having some struggles, and... Um, with having a miscarriage a few weeks ago, I I was skeptical of what would happen putting out this information on on YouTube, but yet I've I've been treated so kind by everybody. I've gotten more comments in the last few videos with encouragement than I've even gotten about my tank. So I'm just I'm very thankful for for my audience and for your encouragement. And I just really wanted to say how much I appreciate you guys and thank you for your support. It's been a really tough last couple of weeks. And it hasn't been very fun, but we're not giving up. We don't quit. Yeah, see this side. Okay, I did want to do this. I'm going to turn on a, a little bit of a blue light here. Check this out. You can't see it because for the most part it's pressed up against the glass so it doesn't get the light on there. But look at that. Wow. That thing is crazy. <laughs> I love it. Just love this hobby. So cool. All right. I'm gonna be doing a review video on Aqua SD coming up here. And they've been super kind always in the past. And I told them I would do a review video, so I'm buying some more coral. They gave me a really nice deal on it. And so stay tuned for that. That'll probably be coming out in a week, week and a half. But uh, Aqua SD has just been awesome. Ramon over there has personally helped me. So, yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching and just... Uh, stick around I might uh, 
Actually, I think I'll put the uh, underwater footage at the beginning. Maybe I'll do a short little clip and do some underwater footage. It'll be my first underwater footage, so we'll see how it goes. Well, you'll have already seen it by now, so. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Looking forward to doing the next video. It's just fun to watch, check out other people's tanks. I do it all the time on YouTube. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. And we'll see you in the next video. Aquatic Bob's out.